yeah uh the chess the top chess players in the world they are a bit sneaky they do these things i've done that plenty of times robert uh spent five ten minutes pretending to think and uh just to lure my opponent forward uh along a variation to lull them into that false sense of security and Ferugia, i'm just amazed he took on h1 surely after white gives you a rook for free you pause you think you kind of mistrust your opponent but yeah this happens and nine moves he can resign uh i mean the problem for black is it's just checkmate the black king is actually trapped on the back rank whether you allow your rook on a8 to fall or whether you allow the pawn to push forward and fruge is going to resign after nine moves there we go game over it's over he resigned look at fabiano he is cracking up over there because this never happens at the highest level it's not he's not laughing at his opponent it's just that you work on these opening tricks and traps hoping that one day Maybe, you know, someone in Title Tuesday will fall for it, but you don't expect it to happen on this stage, David. Oh, I kind of want to see Bishop takes H1, though. Just <laughs> that would go down in all the chess books forever for history. Oh! Oh, my God! What? He didn't see it. Oh, my God, it's on the board. There is no way! Wow. This is once in a lifetime stuff. Fabiano on the camera, Robert, <laughs> smiling. He knows he's, oh, wow. This is immortality stuff. Yeah, this is going down in the best games book, beating Ali Reza Ferruja in essentially nine moves of chess, two brilliancies in a row. And David, I was actually gonna ask you, when Fabiano paused on move six to take that pawn on d5, he spent about 30 seconds. I was wondering if he was just leading other reason to believe that he didn't know the opening because clearly Fabiano knows what's up. That he took on d5, he took on c6, and sacked the rook, the second rook on. Go up and play the game. Whatever happens, happens. And I don't overthink the opening as long as I remember my lines. But it's nice not being the slow one. But I feel like no, I but you're, you're saying like you're not spending as much time as you did before, but you still had these this very good calculation, for instance, which was yeah. genuinely excellent. Queen g4, queen f3 would be checkmate on g2. There's no time on the clock. Both players under five seconds. Wow, one second. And he's blundered, Duda. He's just gone from winning to losing in one move. The black queen was getting in suddenly. And now this is just ma madness, mayhem. Both sides, it's just blunder fest. <laughs> f2, check. It's going to be black who delivers the mate. <laughs> he's going to make a new queen. Game over. Look at Duda. He can't wow. believe it. He had he it. Was he winning. was up two pawns. He was completely winning. He was winning yeah. in a million different ways. And Ali Reza Firuja once again does it. He's so resourceful, so tricky. Duda cannot believe it. He's the bullet chess champion for a reason, Firuja. He's one of the most informed players. So quick on the mouse, so quick uh, with a speed of thought. Duda, head in hands. He'll have to recover. In the meantime, Magnus Carlsen has to recover. Speaking of my own birthday, it's coming up soon. I'll have the opportunity to celebrate another year of my everlasting torment. Fuck. No, 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 no. You can't give me another stupid message to read like last time. No! You can't make me. No! Oh my god, no! Oh gee, my god, I never agreed to it. No, I don't wanna know, no, 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 no! You remind me of this worm I found yesterday. It's pathetic that you think you can take on someone like me. I'll make you regret- Check. Once the queens uh, come off and knight to f4 will hit the king on e6, hit the loose rook. Loose pieces drop off. He needs to find it, Ferruja. It is just capture, 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 check, capture. But <laughs> <laughs> will he find it with two minutes left on his clock? He, he found the first, the first step. step. Yeah, you made it sound so easy. You know, capture, 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 check. And Fabiano, I think he saw it after he made his move. And that's why he just took on d6 with the queen. But now his king is in so much trouble. That was a one move blunder. Fabi realizes and Ferruja with the head bob. He realizes too. He's about to win. Knight to c7 is the only block. But rook takes would have knocked out Fabi. And Fabi resigns instead. Ferruja takes the win in Armageddon. Ali Reza Ferruja, he came back from the loser's bracket in the chess.com classic, but look at Fabiano Caruana. He's just shaking his head. He's in disbelief. Ali Reza won all three games he had with the white pieces, and in all three games, he was in some bit of danger. And Fabiano Caruana won. Small dick, bad driver, no spice tolerance. 
Oh my god. Do you have someone in mind when you're saying that? Because damn. Oddly specific. I'm going to take absolutely everything of yours, and when it's all over, it's going to be so funny how I beat someone as terrible as you. Isn't that right, Alex? Why wouldn't I be grumpy with chat like this? It's just filled with clueless people who contradict themselves and others, and then have the odd. Maxime's Rook's definitely more active, Magnus's Knight more active. Which one will be more yeah. powerful? Oh, it's hard to tell. I think I would prefer the rooks right now. Oh, look at these rooks. Oh, wow. Rookie one? Rook... Can you go rookie one? You can. That was a blue arrow. Checkmate is threatened in one move. Magnus living life on the edge. His king is trapped. G... Rook g2 runs into rook into pawn. Ideas. David, how do you even defend it? You have to come back with your knight to e2, but g5 is hanging. Oh, but now rook takes e3 is going to happen, and it's a to skewer. A win now for Vesha de Grub is inevitable. Magnus, that collapsed just at the wrong moment. It was the clock, Tanya. It was the touch screen. It was everything. But Vasha de Graaf, we have to give him credit. He controlled that game and he struck at uh, the right moment there. Just felt like he was in control, the Frenchman. What an absolutely crazy match. An epic battle between these two. Exactly what we've come to expect in the Champions Chess Tour. Four decisive games. In My hardest so that I can absolutely crush you. Although I don't really need to try hard. You're so dumb that I'm not even sure you can move the pieces correctly. I'm going to beat you so bad. I'm glad the queen is better than this game. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you lose. I'm going to really make sure I'm watching you when it happens. Baka. I'm moving my king to d5 to get ready to get my revenge on you. Oh, Aldo underscore Salazar M. I'm going to come and take your king and I'm not going to stop until it's over. This move was incredibly smart, even for me. Can you even begin to understand the genius of this move? No, of course you can't. That's why I'm the one playing and not you. Plus one point for me and minus one for you. You're nothing but an annoyance to me, Aldo. You don't even deserve to play against someone as great as me. I'm gonna make this game a living hell for you. You're going to regret playing against me. Shit. Start doing it, you do it now. Push those pawns down to the center of the board. Mm -hmm. Maxime Vacher Lagrave has enough time to figure this out after e5 and he does it king to e6 is also the other idea to get that king into defense. Uh, Daniel, I don't see Ali Reza surviving this with two seconds no. on the clock, let alone the it'll two take, seconds on the clock. It'll take a uh, straight up one move blunder for uh, Ali Reza to save this game. He's down to two seconds and consummate professionalism by MVL. Just can't keep stressing it enough. They don't care how much time the opponent has they will take as long as they need to calculate the win. Has he calculated the win, though? Still, as long as there is a pawn on G7, Tanya, there are chances. I don't care what else is on the board, how much time you have. If there is a pawn nah. on G7, it's not over. You have uh, a point. That G7 pawn, it stops the rook. It's Whoa. over. As I said, when there's a pawn on G7, it's still over. <laughs> right? That's what I said initially. An NBL That's win exactly. Those are exactly your words. Oh, looks like you moved your queen in case I wanted to checkmate you there. Well, that doesn't matter because I can checkmate you here. Boom! Checkmate! Can you believe I just did that? Of course you can. I'm amazing after all. But instead, of Fedeseev plays knight c5, and he's got- he's made it after rook f3! He's made it after rook f3! There's no Whoa. way to fight- oh my goodness! And f knight e4, knight f8. And Black's it's, knight is going to circle around with me. It's inevitable. Oh. What a find. He set this up. Knight Daniel, F8. down. Down. No, nope, that's rook. not the move, though. Rook F2 now. Rook F2. What? It, this is pure nerves by both players. Rook F2 and white is still alive. What is happening here? You take the... Do you, yeah, what do you do? F6? But you, Black is winning. You, you win the Rook? You win the Rook? And now Black is the winning endgame. And remember, Black only needs to draw. Black only needs to draw this game. He had made in two with Knight F8. I cannot believe he oh didn't play that. Oh my goodness. After what, finding everything. What? Ferris Andraken <laughs> is, trying not to, is trying to lose this game. What? 
Please stop, I feel compelled to just finish singing it but I must resist. I'm loving this game but I think I'm gonna make it a bit more spicy D0 and DT, you agree? Now that's what I call a real move. Okay, I'll say it. Wait. Eldarir, you only seem to have a limited number of reactions. Is that because your creator considered all the other emotions impossible for you? Fuck. ...all over the board with just one or two seconds left on the clock, playing purely on the increment, but working miracles, staying alive. Uh, BG style here, he's just uh, yeah, working miracles, Alariza Frusha, and he's going to get that rematch against Maxim Vashaligrav. It's a dead drawn rook end game. You can tell on uh, Yana Pomishi's body language. This is over. No more chance for White now. And just to compound the pain, not only the pain of the lost match, but that preparation, that, let me just say, there's no other way to say it. That was some sexy preparation uh, by Yana Pomishi. He pulled out the mega candidates premium stuff that's the super stuff that you would pay boku bucks uh, to get access to he pulled that out for this game because he thought it important he wanted to ensure victory he did everything but the point ali reza i have no words for what we just witnessed that was insane david that was epic that was crazy. Yana Pomnishi immediately logs off, devastated. You have to watch out for maneuvers like Knight C3 picking that up. Right now, the A3 pawn is hanging. So Knight C3 would be met by Rook takes pawn. Not a possibility on the board. Maxime's Rook's definitely more active. Magnus's Knight more active. Which one will be more yeah. powerful? Oh, it's hard to tell. I think I would prefer the Rooks right now. Oh, look at these Rooks. Oh, wow. Rookie is one? Rook Can you go Rookie one? You can. That was a blue arrow. Checkmate is threatened in one move. Magnus living life on the edge. His king is trapped. G rook G2 runs into Rook into pawn ideas. David, how do you even defend it? You have to come back with your knight to E2, but G5 is hanging. Oh, but now Rook takes E3 is going to happen, and it's a to skewer. A win now for Vesely Grav is inevitable. Magnus, that collapsed just at the wrong moment. It was the clock, Tanya. It was the touch screen. It was everything. But Vashley Grav, we have to give him credit. He controlled that game and he struck at uh, the right moment there. Just felt like he was in control, the Frenchman. He looks like it's the one that's going to be in big trouble. Yeah, so near yet so far. There's no good check for white. The Black King is on a vulnerable diagonal, but the checking squares against it are covered. Uh, black covers this square. The Black Queen centralization. Magnus is the king of uh, Queen... Uh, end games and he always gets his queen in the center controls the whole board and yeah like you say there's checkmating patterns galore um if the white bishop moves elsewhere then uh yeah, queen to f5 might be a deadly check this one looks over um he did it the hard way magnus carlson he nearly let jan back in but looks like he's going to get the win eventually queen c2 now will pick up this pawn there we go and game over finally the white king is caught in the corner just Jan, you know, he is threatening a checkmate. Unfortunately for him, Magnus Carlsen delivers the checkmate first. So that was a well-played game from Magnus. Jan Apomshi, he sacrificed in exchange a rook for a minor piece, but he just couldn't find a way through because Magnus Carlsen played far too accurately. Not picking those up. King to c4. Yeah. Although, <laughs> King b4, he's going to try. King b2. Yeah, just king b2. Just follow the black king as far as it can go. And then, obviously, white is prepared to sacrifice this ace. That's a whole point. White will give up this pawn in order to get a pawn endgame where white's king is simply closer to black's pawns. I mean, Hikaru despairing there. You, There's just nothing black can do. Black is hamstrung completely by this pawn. And uh, this is elementary. I mean, this is this is basic Betty for any GM to convert. Um, we might see a res resignation here momentarily. But also for Hikaru, right? It, it, it's just, Take it. it's heartbroken. And, and there Design. it is. Jules Musa does it. He wins the wow. mini match against Hikaru Nakamura. Goes into round two of division one placement. Hikaru Nakamura has been relegated to division two. Wow. And a lot of people... Where is the mate? <laughs> Where is the maid?
Mate into 100, yep. Here, 